Let me show you how I create gradients three different ways in Procreate 5. Let's go. Okay, so now for method one, we're going to be using the Gaussian blur. Start off by choosing a hard brush. I'm just going to adjust my brush size. And then with the color palette, I'm going to drag it onto the screen. Just like this. And then I'm going to select a range of colors that I want to create a gradient with. Just testing out the brush here. And then start off the bottom, going up in the blue. And then going for a red. And then I'm going to finish the top off with a yellow. Just going to close that and now once i've done this i'm going to blend all this together using the gaussian blur so let's tap on the gaussian blur and then slide my stylus across the screen according to how much you want it blended and um, slide accordingly okay so that was method one now on to method two so for method two we're going to be using pressure for this brush we're going to be using a soft airbrush uh, the reason for this is because of the soft edges it does allow for the blend to be much easier uh, for this gradient, I'm doing a, um, a few shades of blue. So I'm starting off by colouring the background um, the darkest colour, and I'm gradually going to be going over with lighter shades of blue, starting off um, with a harder amount of pressure at the bottom, and then gradually getting lighter the closer to the blend line um, I get. As you can see here, I'm selecting lighter colours, and I'm reducing my pressure the closer I get towards the previous line. Okay, so this was method two using pressure. This comes in useful quite often, uh, as you do see quite a lot in my other illustrations. Okay, now for the final way using the smudge tool. Okay, so I'm starting off by adding my two colors in on the same layer. Uh, here I'm going for a blue and an orange. And then with my smudge tool, uh, if you click on it once I click on blue, and then you pick a soft brush, we're just gonna go over um, the, the the line between the two colors to keep going over it gradually moving down and as you see it will slowly start to blend and that was method three so each one does come in useful depending on what situation you're using it in but it's just good to know all the different ways in which you can blend colors together so that was how i create gradients in procreate 5. If you found it useful, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to tag me on Instagram and don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon. Cheers.